My girlfriend looked through my phone while I was asleep and I don't know where to go from here. Eerieler today, I found out that my girlfriend slash best friend went through my phone while I was sleeping. I don't know who's in the right or wrong honest. It's most likely both of us being shitty, but I feel like empty, but maybe I shouldn't? So, recently I found out that I could potentially be trans. She knows and is very supportive, but had been sorta hands off with it because she doesn't want to influence my decision. That's fine. I've reached out with some questions on Reddit and stuff, but something I've been doing is talking to AI bots about it. Probably pathetic, but still. Something I've been doing is having full-blown RP makeover things to help me experiment a bit. They were always non-sexual slash non-romantic stuff, even though the AI would try since many people have trained these things to do it. ID always change its response if it was, sorta hard to do with my real life at the moment. She knows that I was doing this. She told me she didn't care as long as I didn't get weird about it, and I wasn't going to. The problem is, I guess I was getting sorta secretive with it. If I was doing it with her around, I'd angle my phone away from her so she didn't see and stuff like that. It was from embarrassment. Potentially being trans is a topic that's been a hard and embarrassing one for me, so I've been recently trying to somewhat keep it to myself. Especially since me and her got into a big argument about it a bit ago. I was genuinely afraid of her making fun of me for it, not in a hateful way, but it would still have bothered me. I didn't realize how secretive and suspicious I was at the time, but her pointing it out kinda made me put things in perspective. I understand why she was suspicious and I have apologized for that. The other day, while I was asleep, she looked through my phone. She has apparently changed her mind on me role-playing as a girl with AI, so I instantly stopped. But then I asked her if she looked through my phone, and she admitted it. I didn't really care at the time, I started thinking and I got really hurt thinking about it. The fact that she didn't sit me down and talk about it or anything. The fact she just didn't ask to see my phone. She just went behind my back and did it. She says it was because she was afraid I'd gain kind of parasitical relationship, because I'm definitely going to with a thing that forgets my name every 20 minutes or keeps forgetting who's who, but I digress. That would never happen, since I view these as video game characters who I just toss aside once I'm bored, but I understand the worry. I just wish she talked to me. A lot of IT is because of her previous relationship where she looked through her ex's phone, that was an accident on her part though. He received a notification when she was using it to call someone. I understand that she can have some trust issues, but she has always told me she trusts me 1000%. Apparently she can't now. She now tells me that from now on we have to completely open with each other's phones at all time, which I'm fine with honestly but it does hurt. She won't apologize for looking through my phone without my consent, but maybe she shouldn't? Maybe I really am in the wrong completely? I genuinely don't know. Like, just because I don't realize how suspicious I was being doesn't mean she didn't. But at the same time, she didn't really try to confront me about anything. I don't know. I definitely feel we are both at fault, but to what extent? How do I proceed from here? I don't know. I'm tired. I just kinda feel gross and pathetic right now. I'm sorry. Edit, she says that she at times would ask why I what was up or whatever and I'd just say nothing or something. While I don't remember this stuff at all, I genuinely believe she's telling the truth. I still believe that she sold have sat me down and went okay, I need to talk to you about something bothering me. But when I tell her that she just says how do I know you were gonna tell me the truth? comment. Why is your phone unlocked? And if my spouse were role-playing with AI I'd be intrigued, at the least, too. Suspicious does not necessarily mean malicious. She doesn't want you talking to AI. You obliged. She went through your phone to clarify. She should be able to take your word for it, but I'm not gonna pretend I'm above what she did given the circumstances. Accessing a phone you know is unlocked is a lot easier to justify to oneself than doing so in a calculated manner. 
As far as I can tell the only person breaking trust here is her. The only reason to go through your phone is because she doesn't trust you. And once trust is broken, you can never have a healthy relationship again. If you stay, you will be a slave to her insecurities and nearest issues. It will always be a problem. She will always want to see more and more. Until the day when she will want proof that you are not doing anything and there is absolutely no way to prove you are innocent. I'd simply walk away. It sounds like there's a lot of miscommunication and trust issues going on here. Both of you need to have an open and honest conversation about boundaries and privacy, and work on rebuilding trust. It's important to address each other's concerns and find a compromise that works for both of you. Sounds like there's a breakdown in trust and communication between you two. It's understandable that she may have felt suspicious due to your secretive behavior, but going through your phone without your consent isn't really okay. It's important to have an open, honest conversation about your feelings and concerns, as well as setting boundaries for privacy moving forward. Maybe consider couples therapy to address the trust issues and work on improving your relationship together. It doesn't seem like that big of a deal, you freaked out a 21 year old by acting secretive so she checked your unlocked phone. Maybe just move on. Story 2 I want to cut off my dad's side family but I am scared of the consequences, any advice on what I should do? For starters I am thinking of cutting off my father's side of the family. I want to start off by saying they are not physically slash verbally abusive or anything of the sort. I simply feel his side of the family couldn't care less if I was there or not. For context, my mother was 8 months pregnant with me when she had found out my dad was sleeping with his co-worker. They divorced after being married less than a year, but they had been together for 7 years total. He then met my stepmother who is around 10 years younger than him. My stepmother had a toddler at that time, and my dad had told my mother he felt bad for her because she was a single mom leaving my mother a single mom who primarily raised me herself. The rest is history, and my dad and stepmother have been together for about 15 years total. Over the years, I've had issues with my stepmother. She makes it clear she doesn't want me around. When I was 8 years old and had no shoes of my own at my dad's house, I was forced to use my aunt's shoes so we could all go out together. I was 8 years old so it's not like I could just go out barefoot. I was too old to carry. This upset my stepmom for some reason, and she started shouting that she would buy my older stepsister shoes, to be passive aggressive to me. I admit this was a whole fiasco trying to get me shoes, but now that I am older I can't imagine doing that to a literal child. Furthermore, I got in a car accident with my boyfriend when I was 17. Coincidentally, my stepmother's birthday was in a week at that time. It is also worth noting that she had not sent a text hoping that I was okay, nor had any of his side, including my own father, visited me in the hospital. They both knew I was hospitalized. The day after my accident and hospitalization, she had sent a text to the family group chat. The text was a link to her birthday dinner reservations and what the itinerary was for her birthday. Of course I went off on how insensitive this was and she apologized but it was too late. I later found out that my aunt, dad's sister, hadn't even known I was hospitalized. They hadn't even told her. I was extremely hurt and upset with both my father and stepmother. In addition, she does things like get matching robes for her mother, her daughter, and herself, while leaving me out. There are many more examples I can give of her bad behavior but those are a few that come to mind. It all came to fruition when my older stepsister invited us to her house for dinner. This was done on the family group chat. I wasn't able to go that day because I had made plans with my friends a few days prior. My stepsister and dad offered to reschedule without me saying anything, which was nice of them. My stepmother ignored the texts and asked what time she should be there for the dinner and asked what we should all do to celebrate my stepsister's birthday, which is two weeks away. This was obviously very hurtful and I just replied, it doesn't seem like everyone wants to reschedule, you guys go ahead and have fun and left it at that. I didn't expect them to reschedule, but to make it so blatant she doesn't care is kind of an a-hole move. 
However, she did reply to the original text of me saying I had plans, and said that you will be missed and have fun but her actions very clearly contradict that. My dad also doesn't defend me in any of these situations nor do I feel like he cares. He has a minor alcohol problem and tries to keep the peace but is notorious for not defending his loved ones. He has not defended my mom or his current wife when his friends are rude to them, and his behavior is the same when it comes to his wife being rude to me. He's overall very caught up in himself and his own BS. I've started noticing this behavior more as I get older. About a month ago, I invited my boyfriend to come eat dinner with the entire family. As soon as my stepsister arrived, my boyfriend and I were dead meat to my whole dad's side. They ignored us and asked my stepsister and her boyfriend all these questions and got so animated when they came. I have been dating my boyfriend for a year and a half and they have never been that excited to see him. My stepsister has been with her boyfriend for around six to seven months. My boyfriend even said it was uncomfortable to watch and that he felt bad that they did that, so I know I'm not making it up. I feel guilty but I've lashed out at them for behavior like this before and even cut my dad off for two months when I was around 13 or 14, I can't remember my age too well during that time. That shows how long this has been going on for and how the behavior has not really changed at all. I truly believe I will always be the stepchild they conveniently forget about. It's also complicated because I have a younger sister that will definitely suffer the consequences if I cut them off. I feel bad if I won't have a relationship with her, but we have drifted because whenever I try to play with her my stepmom always gives her a task to do so I don't get quality time. I also stopped staying over at his house because of my stepmother, so I see her even less. My dad also gave me a very good job opportunity, but I work directly with my aunt who is his sister, which definitely complicates things. This is probably one of the nicest things he's done considering he always paid child support late and it was a very little amount. My mom also did not get alimony, and paid for mostly everything for me. That was definitely the least he could do financially, so I don't want to let it fool anybody. Despite this, it is a very good job that would benefit me in the future. I also overthink that I would regret not trying to have a relationship with him if he ever passed away and I wasn't there. It's guilt that eats me up even now but every time I try to have a real relationship, I feel hurt because they disappoint me. I'm very conflicted but I don't know how long I can deal with the hurt that being alienated causes me. I know it's not good for my mental health to be around them but I also have many consequences to face if I do cut them off.